What's going on, tech friends? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, where we're on location in Los Angeles, California, where it's nice and beautiful out here, tons of trees, and we're bringing you guys the unboxing and first look of the brand new EVGA Dark X79 motherboard. With that said, let's bop it. All right, folks, so like usual, any good unboxing, I'm gonna show you the front of the box. You guys can see it's the EVGA X79 Dark. Now, this is for the high-end LGA 2011 chipset, but this is also going to support the brand new Ivy Bridge E CPUs that are coming out very, very soon, and we'll have more news on that later. Now, as we spin the box around to the side of the box, we can see here a lot of the important details about it. So let's start off the side of the box. Right here, we see the onboard CPU temperature monitor, the EVGA Elite Tuning Utility, the passive chipset heatsink, the POSCAP capacitors is all high-end components, EVGA Easy Voltage Read Points, this is where you're going to be able to easily hook up things and read all the voltage on your board for doing overclock and stuff like that, 12-phase PWM power conditioning, good stuff, triple bio support, most motherboards have one, some have two, this actually has three. Next up is the PCIe disable switch, which is used for troubleshooting your computer, it looks like, and then we have the onboard Bluetooth connector. Now let's go ahead and just flip it around and show you guys the back of the box just gives information about it. It says a new era in high performance motherboards has arrived with an EVG X79 Dark. This motherboard was redesigned from the ground up to offer the ultimate in performance features and overclocking. The EVG X79 motherboard features a redesigned VRM that offers the best overclocking possible, improved PCIe lane distribution for better performance, supports up to eight DIMMs of memory, and the Intel Gigabit LAN and more. Remember folks, this is just the unboxing. I'm trying to like kind of go as anal as possible for some people who like that. Here go the key features, just have the camera run down there. It shows us stuff. We'll be doing a full on build review and everything on this. Get the free overclocking utility. We talked about the Elite before. 90 day step up program. Warranty is awesome. EVGA 24 seven support. I just want to go back to this. So the 90 day step up program, that's kind of cool. Um, although I don't think on something like this, you'd really be getting a better board than this. I think you're already at the top. Last up, the last side of the box, just have some more things talking about the company. Saying they're the number one seller of NVIDIA based products in America. All the way down, all their awards and stuff. And then down here's what's going to be really important. Right down here is the part number. So for those people who are interested in purchasing this, we'll have a link in the description down below, but here it is for you folks that are really curious. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this little tape off right here. Didn't get to bring a trusty knife with me today, so I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way and just kinda of just, you know, rip the sticker here and then begin taking everything out of the box. I'm really looking forward to this motherboard. I have a lot of Sandy Bridge processors, but I'm waiting for something different to come out, which you guys all know about. But this thing will work with a 3960, 3970, any of the old LGA 2011 Sandy Bridge processors, but it will work with the future as well. So here's the box it came in. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cap. Right off the top, we have the EVGA X79 Dark Motherboard Installation Guide. It's gonna tell you all the different things about the motherboard, how to install it, its features. Here is the driver CD. And inside of the plastic package, you can clearly see a case badge named EVGA. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that out of the way. Close that up. We also have another type of installation guide. This one's in pictures and everything. Now here folks, you can pretty much see everything that's gonna be on this motherboard. The eight lanes, the different BIOS, the EVGA easy voltage, the CMOS clear, everything is clearly shown here. There's two Intel controllers and a Marvel controller as far as your SATA ports go. You can also do quad SLI. You have one, two, 16X, two, 8X, and a single 4X PCIe 4 lane. So this is pretty interesting stuff here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way though. We'll move on. Now here we're moving to the main accessory packs and it looks like this motherboard came fleshed out with a lot of stuff. So let's just begin and do it one by one. First off, single SLI bridge. This is your X79 Dark. This is for supporting your video card. 
Then we have the quad SLI bridge. That's right, look at that beastie thing. Although we're looking for getting something else from actually EVGA for doing that. Connection cables for all your hot wire stuff. All located right there, very easy. This is your probit cable, like I said, for doing your electronic stuff. Then we have a triple SLI bridge. Just a lot of stuff in here. The back plate, very, very heavy duty. You can see it says LGA 2011 BP, standing for back plate. Very, very tough, very heavy duty. Then we've got the rear IO shield. You guys can see that in there, the old rear IO shield. Breakout cable box for two USB 3.0 ports. Standard USB 2.0 breakout bracket with four USB 2.0 ports. Damn, this thing's got a lot of USB ports. These right here are Molex to SATA power converters. So you get some of those in there. That's kind of interesting. You don't really see that coming out too much. Then I actually can't even see this one is, so I'm gonna go ahead and have to take this one out of the plastic package because I can't see what it is. Okay. So here we have a pair of SATA cables, Molex to SATA, and then this right here is your GPU link cable. So I'm taking it now, you're going to be able to connect your video card directly to the motherboard. I think that'll be interesting. So that's basically all of the accessory pack. Now I'm very new to this motherboard. I just got this thing yesterday. We wanted to make sure that we got this up very fast for you folks. So now let's get to the motherboard. And I just want to say right off the bat, this is probably one of the heaviest motherboards that I've actually ever felt in my hands. It's very heavy. Let's go ahead and just take the back sticker off. Go ahead and remove that. And now we'll take the entire board out of there and we'll set it down and whoo, has it really really cool fresh car smell so let's check this thing out now starting off the very top i'm going to try to just go ahead and angle this the very top up here you guys can see eight pin power connector components back behind there right here you've got your probe located right there on the top of the memory now like they said there's two things of memory on each side eight different dim slots incredible memory support. I don't know if you guys ever saw the Red Dawn system, but we had like an amazing 96 gigabytes of memory in that bad boy. Will we do the same here? Hmm, maybe. So let's just flip it around the side. Here we can see the reset and start button for those people who are gonna be using the boards on an open test bench. And they're very, very nice looking and they're indented. So when you press them in, your finger kind of touch the top there, but they're very well made. Next to that, we see the CMOS reset switch. Then we see the post LED. The first of many of the fan headers. I'm gonna flip it over to the side. You guys can see now they have a completely angled 24 pin power connector. That's really nice. A lot of people have actually been trying to do that lately. It's really good to see that EVJ is also adopting this type of model to their motherboard. Now I'm gonna change angles just once again. We're up here, we're gonna talk about the area around here. You guys can see the LGA 2011 is a very, very large CPU. It's basically like having a Xeon for the desktop. Plenty of room around it though for aftermarket cooling. On the top, you see the cooling solution up here, keeping some of the components cool. Everything's very low profile around the board. You can see that as well. All the components are very low profile. They're not getting in the way of anything that you're doing at all. So now I'm gonna flip it again, once again. Now, there are Intel and Marvell controllers on here, so you get an amazing amount of SATA support on here. You're never going to run out of support. You have RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 10, all supported off the motherboard. And then we see something that's really cool, the BIOS selector switch. I'll go ahead and try to set this down so the camera can get a better angle on that. In fact, let me just take the whole board out of here and reposition it for you guys. So down here, you guys can see the BIOS selector switch. I said previously there are three BIOS on the board, so you have one, two, and three. 
There's three different pole positions on it. So you can set one for extreme overclocking, one for minor overclocking, one for standard. Then next up, you have another fan header. And these connections right here are for all your case connections, everything for your reset button, all that's gonna be connected here. You can see it's all laid out well so you can see it. We have USB 3.0 header right there. I will go ahead and remove the little thingy there so you guys can see that. Then we have two more USB 2.0s down there. I won't remove those because you guys actually saw those. This little thing right here is the little beepy thing. So if your computer starts up and you get a beep, 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 and that's your little post little speaker beep. Down over here, we see another six pin power connector. Now let's jump in and let's talk about the PCIe lanes. You see there's one, two, three, four, five lanes. One is 16 and eight. One is eight. One is 16 and eight. One is four and one is eight. So you get support, like I said before, you can do quad SLI on this motherboard right out of the box. Pretty cool stuff. So let's flip it around to the last but not least to the rear IO. We can see right here, we have the Bluetooth connectivity. Underneath that, two standard USB 2.0 ports, reset switch, the EVBOT connector, two more USB 2.0. To the right of that, we have two eSATA ports. Then above that, two more 2.0 USB. And then after that, we see the first set of two USB 3.0 ports. Next to that, another set of two. And then above that, the two gigabit ethernet LAN ports. Next to that, we have all of the audio, both your analog and your digital SPDF connector, all right on the rear IO. All right, folks, so there you guys have it, the brand new EVGA X79 Dark Motherboard. Now, what are we gonna be doing with this? Well, you guys remember last year, we brought you guys the Red Dawn computer. Well, this time we're bringing you a whole new system and this one's gonna be called simply The Dark. That's right. So we're gonna be building this thing, bring it to you guys in full review format. We'll be building it, showing you guys the parts, all that kind of cool stuff. Like I said, we're kind of holding off because we're waiting something to come. Uh, you guys probably know what it is, but when it gets here, we'll be doing that. This motherboard currently supports all the CPUs, like I said, that are out now, plus future generation stuff if you get my drift. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, down below the like button, which I know you guys are going to Kung Fu Chop, is all the information. If you guys are looking to purchase one these for yourself and build a system just like we are. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to sub or you'll miss out on all the cool shit here on Tech of the Mark.